Well, I see Mr. Bruce Junker of Saskatchewan finally got his face up on YouTube, which is really great. We congratulate him. It's nice to finally see his face. And I listened to his story as much of it as you can get out of a 10 minute uh, YouTube. And you know, to me, these people should be charged under Bill C-45 of criminal complacency in the re-injuring of that man. The mere fact that they covered up the doctor's records saying that these pills would make him t sleepy in that and, and not to drive while he was using them tells me that these people are cr criminally complacent in his new injury which is the broken jaw and the shattered tailbone and the fact that they would send a truck driver out onto the road full of pain medication when he could have passed out and killed a family of people shows me exactly how far the workman's compensation is willing to go it's like I stated they are willing to commit murder in order to save money the bottom line is money they care nothing about human life they care nothing about the horror and pain that they heap upon the backs of the already injured worker they just keep keep it on and they're no different in Saskatchewan than they are in BC than they are in Nova Scotia or anywhere else across the country and you get the oh, I was watching a program there uh, uh, the election in uh, in uh, in uh, Newfoundland there where the they were talking to the NDP or and all uh, they were talking to the the heads of the parties and oh yeah they were gonna they were gonna look at it and they were gonna look at the WCB and all that and they, you'll never hear a word from them because they're all stakeholders in this bad faith act and we should be seeking a constitutional challenge for this whole act as a matter of fact, we should be seeking a constitution challenge against the Supreme Court of this country because they are making rulings on an illegal act that was never brought up to the standards of the constitution of this country. And it's written right into the constitution that any act that does not meet the criteria of the constitution is illegal. And they know full well that it is. Now they've destroyed, they've finished Mr. Junker off there by the looks of him. He's all fucked up. And, and, and they, but it could have been a lot worse. And, and I'm sure Mr. Junker has thought of this. If he had it passed out while he's at the wheel of a big truck going down the highway, you know, he could have run into a family going home from church and killed them all. And these people held back information. that would have put the onus on Mr. Junker to make a, to make a reasonable decision not to, uh, to go driving while he's on this medication. But they don't care about nothing except the bottom line saving themselves money. And it's themselves, it's not the employers, it's themselves. And my friend Jack has it right. They gotta get rid of that clause that says you can't sue the WCB they got to be like any other in insurance company any companies with 50 employees or less and single people or workers should be able to sue the WCB we're not talking about the huge companies here because the WCB takes care of them quite well it's getting to the point in this country where enough's a bloody enough where do we draw the line uh, I know one thing, if I had a, had a family and Mr. Junker had to run into them and killed them all and I found out what, what it went on, I'd sue the government. I wouldn't screw around. I'd be suing the goddamn government of this country. It just goes from bad to worse. And this is why I was after Mr. Junker to put his story up on, on there because now I, there's a face to the story and, and we could see what we're dealing with. and and, and but his isn't the only story like this. There, there's the fella in the Chrysler plant that had to catch a he got run over by a forklift and had to catch a cab 
to go to the doctor, then they, they refused to pay for the cab. This is, we're talking about the Chry Chrysler plant, for Christ's sakes. But it goes from bad to worse all across this land and in the States. It's not just in this country, it's in the States, it's in, in Australia, it's everywhere where these bastards have gotten in control. And they've gotten in control. They've done it through the help of these unions, these, these goddamn phony unions, where they claim that they're for the working people, but they're actually for the, the business agents and, and the hierarchy of the union and the union's friends and buddies. They could give a shit about the common working man, because after all, he's just a unit of labor, that's all. And once that unit of labor is not, is not produced anymore, then that unit is defunct. It's no good to anybody. It's time the injured workers in this country woke up and started to say enough's enough and forget these phony union sites where they have all these they have pretty pictures and all that but they don't really do anything they're just a smoke screen what's really going to screw these people is YouTube's just like this one just like the one Mr. Junker made just like the ones Mr. Cody makes those are the ones that are going to do the damage to these people because what we're trying to do is to get the public, the uninjured public, to look at it and say, hey, I work for a living, that could be me. And it's true. Today you live like a king. Tomorrow you could be living like me, like a pauper. I was making $27 an hour. Now i got to live on $600 a month. Try that one on, on for size. You sell everything that you got, and then you then you starve to death. But people got to stand up and say enough's enough. These people have to be uh, reined in, and a stop has to be put to their bullshit. And we're going to do it by with the help of people like Mr. Junker that puts his face up. We want more people like that. We want everybody that's on here that's talking to put their face up. Because if you... Do not have your face up and you're just some phony name you made up. Nobody listens to you. Nobody has any respect for people like that. They fear people that will put their names and faces up. Those are the ones they fear. And the, these are the people that we have to get. And then the public will start watching. You have your own blogs. Everybody gets their own blog and do your own writing and, and put your and people will watch and sooner or later it may take a while it'll be a long fight but in the end we'll win anyways that's it for now thank you